There are plenty of things, and I want to emphasize again, plenty of things to criticize wrestling fans for. You, me, all of us. And you're going to sit there and say, well, I know he's not talking about me. Then in that case, I'm probably especially talking about you, a-hole. All of us. Like, just as a collective group of suck. Especially when you look at the wrestling business now and what it's turned into, like, the business is a reflection of the fans. The fans are a reflection of the business. The business as a whole sucks. It really does. Don't get it twisted. Just because you, some of you, may not have much or any in the way of standards when it comes to professional wrestling, and you're easily popped by stupid, meaningless moves and matches, that doesn't mean that wrestling's in a good place. So we certainly deserve our criticism for how nobody can ever unite behind one thing, how everybody's always got something to say about something like, you can go on and on and on and on and on. And it's probably all got some form of validity. Some arguments certainly have more validity than others. Like if somebody talks about the marks and they're in the business, uh, that's one that's not so valid because the bigger problem is the marks in the business, not the ones outside of it. Um, but I found it interesting. Apparently, Triple H, God himself, Aga, has descended from the heavens of Titan Towers and chosen to speak. And I'm pulling this from Wrestling Inc. and kind of reading through the article and reading through the quote uh, because he kind of alluded to the fact that uh, wrestling fans ruin their own stuff by overanalyzing the product. Let me give the context here. So, ahead of this weekend's takeover in your house, he was part of a media call where the current and future state of NXT was discussed. Triple H was asked about the lack of movement within the NXT roster to other brands, and while discussing it, he critiqued wrestling fans. And I quote, It's a funny thing to me sometimes that in our business, everybody is so worried about where people are going to go or land or how is this going to play out long term in the future? How about watch it? Do you like it or do you not like it? Do you have to say... I like it, but I like this other thing more, or I like it, but I don't like it as much as I like that one. Just watch it or don't and stop trying to figure out where everything goes, unquote. And then here comes the next part where Triple H noted that fans often ruin their own stuff by overanalyzing the product. And I quote again, the fans ruin their own stuff half the time, trying to figure out where everything goes and why it's going there and how and then trying to pick up their phone and go search for the thing to find out what it is that can ruin it for them so they're not surprised when it happens. I don't understand that. I'm thrilled with what the brand is. I'm happy with where it is. Do I want it to get better? Yes. Do I want it to grow? Yes. Do I want it to expand? Yes. But again, people will take this line, use it out of context. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I'm not here to make a brand that's around for a few years or a few minutes. I want it to be long-term. And how's it going to be long-term? It's going to morph and evolve. It shouldn't be the same. If it's the same three years from now or four years from now as it is right now, we've made a mistake. It's just like people, you grow. If you are the same person four years from now, you didn't grow. Unquote. There's a lot to unpack there. But it kind of comes down to the fundamental question of is Triple H right? Do wrestling fans ruin shit for themselves, uh, specifically by overanalyzing the product? And I know some of you are already going to jump and you can't wait to shit on other wrestling fans, and I do too, because we all deserve it. Um, there is certainly an element of truth to that. I don't think we could deny that. I think to pretend like that's not a thing would be kind of foolish, sheepish type of behavior. Yeah, absolutely, sometimes fans can overthink it. Sometimes fans go too far, worry too much about some of the shit that they shouldn't be, instead of just focusing on what they're seeing and all of that. I don't think that's necessarily inaccurate. It's totally accurate, frankly. And it is a small problem. But here's what bothers me about this. Is when you start talking about wrestling, when you start to really know that there are deeper seated issues within the business or in this case let's just keep it to the WWE umbrella when you start sensing feeling and knowing and getting confirmation 
of there being bigger, deeper seated problems is when they're starting to lash out the, the customers and blaming the customers for their own shit and their own problems. When they're deflecting away due to their own failures and their own insecurities and projecting the problems onto others. That's the way this comes across from Triple H. Let's, let's keep it 100% real here. Because I find it baffling for the life of me that this did not require him to say this. He went off on this own tangent and this own little mini rant on his own. Now, it certainly wasn't a big deal. It's not worth getting ragingly mad about. It wasn't being insulting or anything, I don't think. You know, he said some things that in the grand scheme of things, you know, theoretically makes sense. But, you know, I could totally tear down his part about, you know, the change. Change doesn't necessarily mean you grow. You could change and regress in a few years. Like NXT as a brand has changed and regressed. I can't imagine anybody out there that thinks NXT now is of the same caliber of show that it was maybe three or four years ago. I don't even like NXT and I would agree with that assertion. And I certainly can imagine even more so those that are loyal to that brand and consistently watch it on a week in week out basis. You can just tell by the reaction to the shit. There's not the same level of emotional investment there as there was a few years ago. You can change and totally not grow. And that whole assertion of if you're the same person four years from now, you didn't grow. Yeah, that's true. But you could also change as a person and in four years be in a much, much shittier version of yourself. Like the whole thing about it's a marathon, not a sprint. And then kind of tying that back to, you know, fans being too worried about what's going on. Whose fault is that? That is 100% WWE's. If you don't want your fans thinking about that shit, if you don't want your fans being bothered by that shit, then stop feeding shit to the dirt sheets. And most importantly of all, start booking and writing better fucking content. Don't sit there and blame the customers because you can't fucking connect with them in a meaningful way. Don't blame the customers, the few that you've got left here stateside, because you can't figure out how to get more of them. Don't blame them because you've created a product that is arguably at its all-time worst, and that's compared to an era like the mid-90s, which is, yes, it's that bad now. Because you're sitting there playing for an audience of one at the end of the day and he don't know what the fuck he wants from one moment to the next. That's not on the fans' goddamn backs. That's on Vince McMahon. That's on Stephanie and Hunter and Shane for not better managing the Vince problem. That's the biggest problem in the organization from a creative standpoint. It's the Vince problem. And furthermore... Maybe fans wouldn't be so distracted about this or somebody's going to get a call up or somebody's going to get this. If you booked better shit, they would be emotionally invested and distracted with what's going on. They wouldn't care. You see what I mean? I just find it astounding that God would sit there and take this time to blast his fans. And just what, what's the end game here? What are you hoping to gain? Like when you start seeing businesses lash out at the customers, it's because their products suck, their marketing sucks, their branding sucks, and they don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't have the right vision or long-term strategy at play. That's the conclusion to take from this. And this kind of whole shit about do you like it or do you not, you know, I like it, but I like this other thing more. Uh, just watch it or don't and stop trying to figure out where everything goes. Like, why is it always incumbent upon people in wrestling who don't know what the fuck they're doing or do a crappy job with what they do to sit there and always go to this crutch of, well, if you don't like it, don't watch. How about doing better so that way more people will be more satisfied, more consistently with your product and more people would watch. Stop going even more down this lazy fucking direction, which is all you've been doing for years now, where you can't book for shit, you can't write for shit, you can't develop characters for shit, you can't create emotional attachments and emotional investment for your fans towards your wrestlers and the stories and the goings on of your company. Instead, you gotta sit there and blame the fucking fans. That is not a smart business model a productive business model, a successful business model. It's none of those things.
If you don't like it, don't watch. It's one thing if fans say that to each other. But you've got skin in the game. Like every once in a while, Hunter will say one of these things where he wants to take shots at fans. And even if sometimes it's appropriate, appropriate from a standpoint of it's applicable, is it necessarily appropriate in terms of your positioning and what you're trying to do? And the answer 1000% is always going to be fucking no. It'd have been much better off if you said, yeah, you know what? Sometimes fans get focused on this. And it'd be nice if they didn't. But we need to do better about getting fans to get emotionally invested and engaged and consistently coming back to our product. That's the focus. Like every moment you should be thinking about, if you're talking about we want to grow and you want to get better, well, it is running antithesis to what you're actually doing. So maybe your idea is one thing, but your implementation and strategy, Paul, is fucking horrendous. And sitting there and wasting time and burning cycles to talk about fans and how they ruin shit for themselves. Nobody ruins shit for the fans today in wrestling more than the goddamn WWE does in their leadership. For every one thing that a fan may ruin for themselves because they're seeking out a spoiler or they get too caught up in the bullshit of how this is going where they don't like it. There's a hundred things you can point to that your stupid ass company does that ruins it. If you want fans to enjoy it more, book and write better shit. It's not the fans' fault. It's your fault. And if you don't like it, do something about it. Be better. Have some goddamn pride. You married into the family, you're not going fucking anywhere. So tell that senile ass, mid 70 ass year old Vince McMahon to stuff it sometimes. You're supposed to know. Like you came up through the business, you have three decades of experience. And sometimes when you watch NXT, you think you're just another indie circle jerk guy, God. Now are you fucking serious? And you got the nerve to call out fans? But you point your finger in the mirror at your big fucking schnoz and say, hey, hey, here's the problem. It's you, not the damn fans.